Hi, I'm Mark Cote, golf course superintendent of the Pete Dye River Course of Virginia Tech. I'm here with Jay Hardwick, golf coach of Virginia Tech. And we're on the Pete Dye River Course. Golf Week rated it number five in Virginia of the best public access courses. We want to provide you some basic tips that will help you not only build a beautiful lawn, but also one that will protect the environment. Water is too valuable to waste, so pay attention to how much water you use. If you just seeded your grass, irrigate lightly and frequently until seed germination is complete. Too much water can wash away or drown the seeds. Gradually cut back on the water so you can establish a deep root system. For mature lawns, irrigate deeply and frequently and soak the root zone in the soil for up to four inches. It's better to water early in the morning to prevent risk of summer diseases. On average, one inch of water a week during the summer months will keep your grass green and growing. But many of our soils can't accept one inch of water in a single application. So keep an eye on your sprinklers, and if the water starts to puddle, shut off your system. Place a container on the lawn to measure how much water you're actually applying. Be careful not to overwater. Again, it wastes one of our most precious resources. If no irrigation is available, simply let the grass go dormant, do not mow, and stay off the lawn. Go to the Virginia Cooperative Extension website for more information and to find your local extension office.